At Welsh Water, we routinely monitor our rivers, reservoirs and groundwaters. Um, as part of the monitoring programme, since 2013, we've picked up an increased number of detections of MCPA. MCPA is a grassland herbicide. It's used for uh, broadleaf control. Um, and in, in Wales, we're finding that it's typically used for the management and control of rushes. We'd really like to work with the farming industry so that we can try and uh, reverse the trend in the, the number of detections that we've seen in MCPA. And we think it's quite possible to do this. MCPA is a particular problem because it breaks down relatively slowly so that means there's a reservoir of MCPA within the soil or on the soil which can be more readily washed off the soil and into water. There's several difficulties here. Firstly, the wetter weather itself has increased difficulties for farmers in particular with increased compaction and poaching brought about by livestock on wetter ground. This in turn can block drains with increased soil erosion and soil wash off, off the land, blocking the drainage systems, leading to wetter ground all round. And this wet ground then encourages the growth of rushes in particular. In 2015, we'll be working in partnership with NRW, FWAG and Dalton's ATV to run a free weed wiper hire trial. Um, the idea of the trial is that it will focus on two catchments. One catchment is the River Tyvee in West Wales and the second catchment is the upper part of the Y upstream of Cleeswen near Bilth. The idea will be that people will be able to hire a weed wiper for free through Dalton's ATV um, and the advantage of using a weed wiper is that the only product licensed for using a weed wiper is glyphosate. Um, glyphosate breaks down in the environment much quicker than MCPA so you're looking around three days or so for glyphosate whereas MCPA can take up to three or four weeks to break down. One of the advantages of using glyphosate over MCPA is that glyphosate is a translocated herbicide. So in other words, it actually kills the whole of the plant, potentially in one application. This then reduces the amount of herbicide a farmer uses, but also potentially then can help him save costs by needing to buy and apply less herbicide. Before using any herbicide on your land, it's important to get advice from a basis qualified advisor. Chemical control is only one of a series of other methods that can be used to control rushes. There's different things we can do, such as uh, the most important thing would be looking at uh, cutting rushes to start off with, with a mower or a topper to cut them right down. Then also we need to be looking actually beneath the soil. So looking at actually the structure of the soil to make sure the soil isn't compacted, suffering from compaction and also looking at the um, chemistry of the soil as well. So we're looking at things like pH, phosphate and potash levels as well, and making sure that if there are any deficiencies of them, that they are rectified first. Also, we're looking at sort of grazing management, sort of undergrazing in the summer and overgrazing in the winter can cause problems with all sorts of weeds, especially rushes. Before any agricultural improvement is carried out on land that may be deemed habitat, it's important that farmers consult the Welsh Government as they may require an environmental impact assessment. So the trial will run from April to the end of October in 2015. Welsh Water are producing an information pack on the trial, who's eligible, and some general best practice around pesticide usage and storage, as well as the benefits of using a weed wiper and how to use a weed wiper.